Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I'm here in the studio with Brother Bill Delperdang, and he has uh, spent a month in the Dominican Republic. We're going to give you guys a full report on our Dominican Republic ministry and give you some ways that you can help us pray and uh, help us be involved in what the Lord's doing there. Don't go away. All right, guys, thank you very much. Smite thine like button and all your dreams will come true. That is a true mm-hmm. thing. I decree it and declare it in Jesus' name. And so we're uh, we're looking forward <laughs> to talking to you. I'm sorry, I started off with heresy, Brother Bill. I know it. Forgive me. <laughs> uh, but we, uh, you just got back from a month in the Dominican Republic. Yes, a glorious month. <laughs> yes. yes. And uh, another, every night you went to bed and said another night with the frogs. You know? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, so, uh, uh, more and, like uh, another night with the traffic. But <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You got this Airbnb right there on the, one of the main roads, and yep. it was loud, loud. I went and stayed there with you for about five days, and uh, boys, them, them air horns on those trucks are brutal. Yeah, especially when they go like off like three a.m. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. And so, but have you recovered yet, Brother Bill? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I just I'm got so- home Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. And uh, well, praise the Lord. I'm glad that you're back, and glad that uh, the Lord has uh, done some great things, uh, folks. Uh, Brother Bill has um has gone to the Dominican Republic for a month and, and he he just was a blessing while he was out there. Uh basically the story of this ministry, uh Brother Ben Jordan called me and apparently a a missionary who was doing a great work had passed away and had left some churches behind. And uh and these are these are all Haitian churches run by Haitian pastors. And um and so he basically, Brother Ben Jordan, asked me to come down and see if the, if we would be interested in helping with this ministry. And when I got down there, I thought, man, the need is just astounding here. This, there's just such a great need. There was churches that were kind of uh, kind of scattered, kind of disorganized, and there was a whole ministry that I th- I saw a lot of potential in, um, and just thought, man, the Lord could really do a great thing here. Just it, we just need to structure it up and organize it a little bit. And part of uh, part of that organization was just sending Brother Bill down there so he could kind of get in these churches and i i've been there i think at least five times mm-hmm. so far but i uh, wanted to get you down there for a month um tell us some of the things that you saw um while you were down there as far as just give us an overall view like what's the bottom line after this month what are we looking at as far as a ministry down there okay well basically the uh the main churches that we're dealing with down there there are four in the barahona area mm-hmm. uh there are two in the city that's uh central and los salaris mm-hmm. and then uh up in the mountains is uh la guasara and then, and I pronounced it correctly that time. Yeah, you're getting Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there's that, and then there's Cabral, which Cabral is basically the church. The building itself is a wooden shack, but uh, yeah. but it's uh, uh, it is a building, and they are meeting in there, so that's good. Sure. That's in Barahona, and then uh, uh, further to the east is uh, uh, Hatio de Azua, which is where Marilus is, which mm-hmm. we've helped him before and uh, built a building there and all that, so uh, just recently uh, put in some bathrooms there, mm-hmm. which uh, it's interesting to note on that building. Uh, we built the building and the bathrooms, but uh, it had no windows, it had no platform and everything. Marilus led his church to raise the money to put in the windows yep. and to build the uh, the platform, which the pa- platform, you know, we think of platform as not being a big deal to build. Yeah. Theirs is actually concrete, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's pretty nice. It, it's big, so we've got those, uh, the four in Barahona, the one in Oswa, um, then there's a, a Haitian work in the capital, uh, mm-hmm. Santo Domingo, that uh, Brother Ben Jordan has started mm-hmm. that church out there, so we may work with them in the future. And then there's one other uh, location that we have a potential to work in, and that's out on the East Coast in Punta Cana mm-hmm. with uh, Pastor Lamarck out there. Okay. So Yeah, and uh, basically from what, what I just so folks know that we're, we're watching, uh, this former missionary was solid guy. I mean, mm-hmm. I've I've watched his sermons online. Good fellow. His name is Brother Johnston, and um, and he he started a Bible institute and was training these nationals, uh, these Haitian guys, doing a great work. And um, 
these folks that we are working with are the people who have been trained by him. Mm -hmm. They are the fruit of his ministry. Really. Yeah, they really are. And, uh, and so I, I'm thankful for that. Uh, we have the opportunity with these, the foreign bar owner, the one in Oswa with uh, Mariluz, and then we got a guy in, in Santa Domingo. Um, so that, that's six churches of theologically sound trained men yes. who are doing the work of God already and have agreed to meet to, to work with us. Yes. And uh, we're, we're all on the same team now working with Lighthouse Baptist Missions uh, together. And then we also even have a potential, uh, the guy, Lamarck, you talk about him, mm -hmm. he's a graduate of the Bible College. Yes, so actually he was teaching in it. He so. was a teacher in the Bible mm -hmm. College, which is a big deal. Um, so these, I mean, I, I'm very excited. I think we've got a great start. Uh, we've got guys that, you know, most missionaries, when they go over and start work, they got to start from the ground up. I mean, they got to yeah. sit there and say, here's the Bible and just, <laughs> you know, Old Testament, New Testament. They have to start from nothing. Right. Um, we're not starting there. No, we're, not, we're, not at all. We've got good guys um, who are busy doing the work without us. I mean, you saw them baptizing people while yes. they were there. Baptized and, four um, people uh, the uh, during my trip there. So yeah. I, I, I wasn't actually there for the baptism, mm -hmm. but uh, it was... Uh, I knew of it taking place, and they sent me video of good, it. Good, so. good. Yeah, and these these guys, are they're already doing it. Um, and so we've all, the Lord knit our hearts together. We're all working together um, as far as just working with Lighthouse Baptist Missions uh, out of the Lighthouse Baptist Church in Shepherdsville, Kentucky. And uh, I'm excited. Um, you know, the the Lamarck out there, and he's mm -hmm. in Punacana. Yes. And uh, tell tell everybody what kind of what his deal was. What, what was the situation there? Well, he was uh, he was actually part of the ministry there in Barahona, and he was teaching in the Bible Institute. But uh, for uh, reasons of uh, employment and everything, he needed to move out to the Punta Cana area in order mm -hmm. to support his family. Uh, right now, it's him and his wife. Uh, but uh, they're out there right now. They're in the process of building their own home. Mm -hmm. So they've, they've purchased a piece of land, and yeah. the house is about halfway built. Uh, okay. It's kind of over there. It's kind of pay as you go uh, in order to do that. And his desire and his burden is once he's done with the house is he wants to start a church there. Uh, the area in which they're building is, uh, it, it's a growing area there. Uh, there's a lot of construction going on. There's a lot of people, a lot of Haitians in that area. Mm -hmm. But uh, he says that there is no scriptural church. There is no good church. Uh, mm -hmm. there, there's like, uh, you know, maybe a Catholic church or something like that in the sure. area. But uh, uh, nothing as far as uh, really gospel preaching churches. Yeah. And yeah. I, I can believe that. Uh, now, folks who don't, don't know, Punta Cana is on the east side of Dominican Republic. And uh, my prayers have been answered, Brother Bill. <laughs> this is uh, this is the most uh, m one of the most luxurious vacation spots in the world. <laughs> like it is, it is a beauty. Uh, there's there's all kinds of hotels there. I, like I, I saw a video. There's a Hard Rock hotel there, and I'm talking about like world class mm -hmm. stuff. Um, and uh, so I guess we're gonna go suffer for Jesus and you know it. Like, you know? <laughs> uh, but <laughs> uh, yeah, people. it's a good reason to go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know we're serving the Lord and have a little fun too i guess no mm -hmm. uh no but uh but you know wherever the lord leads is where i want to go and uh and the lord's given us that unique opportunity with lamarck being there mm -hmm. he's he, we, i mean it's it's almost a no-brainer mm -hmm. we got a guy who's theologically trained who's in that area who is before we even showed up was planning on starting a church mm -hmm. And uh, so we're, we're looking forward to coming alongside working with him and yeah. helping him along the way. Um, and I, I'm excited. I mean, there's there's a lot of good opportunity there. Mm -hmm. And so just to recap for folks, in the Barona area, which on the western end, we have uh, we have about four good churches there. We have one right in the middle with uh, Oswa, mm -hmm. which is Mariluz. we got one in the city, and then we're possibly going to be doing one in Punta Cana. Yes. So that's, what is that, seven churches? Yes, eventually. There's, yeah, there's three types of people in the world, those who can do math and those who can't. <laughs> and uh, so that's, uh, I'm glad I got that number seven right. And uh, <laughs> so <laughs> that's a joke, folks. Sorry about that. Um, so what what is your overall impression, takeaway? What are some of the things that uh, 
uh, that you're excited about going forward, Brother Bill. Uh, just go and tell us all that. Okay. Well, first of all, as far as what is going on currently, uh, we've got some good, solid uh, folks there that are working there. They need some things um, that we need to come alongside them to ordain some folks and uh, make the the you know give them the scriptural authority to do what they're doing. But yeah. they're already doing the work there, and uh, these churches. Uh, have few of them have good buildings a uh, few of them don't uh, we can yeah. we can look at that in the future sure. um, there's the opportunity out in Punta Cana that uh, we have a good man on the ground there that uh, just needs uh, the opportunity basically yeah. and um, so we'll we'll work with him see what we can do there and uh i didn't get the chance to go to the church in santo domingo but uh, i look forward to doing that another time and uh but there's already uh, ben jordan's already working with them so they have some support there as well yeah um so we, we've got some good stuff going on we've got people being saved and baptized we've got uh, a good foundation for the churches uh there's a lot of people who love the lord uh but there are some things that are needed as well. We already mentioned uh, the ordinations, mm-hmm. which uh, we're working, mm-hmm. we're working yeah. on that. And then uh, there's also the Bible Institute. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is some teaching going on as far as the Bible Institute, yeah. but uh, they don't have a lot of material, which we have some of the materials from Brother Johnston that uh, we're going to get back into their hands. And then uh, we may do some other uh, things, go some other directions with it, just to make sure that uh, they're getting the the education that they need and that uh, other people are being trained up in the ministry as well. Sure. So. So, so just, I guess, to sum it all up, some of the, just, I guess, three things we want to try to do. Um, number one, we want to get all these men scripturally ordained. Yes. And uh, we'll be taking care of that in May. Uh, we got Brother Mara Luce there uh, in Oswa. Uh, we will be taking a trip there. I've already got a team together for a trip in late May uh, to have an ordination service for him. And then also we want to get the Bible Institute started up again. Yes, yes. Um, and, and really, um, the Spanish stuff is good, but these, these guys prefer Creole, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. Okay. So if anybody out there, you know, you, you speak Creole or, you know, just happen to speak Creole, may watch this, uh, mm. would you reach out to us and see if uh, there's maybe some way you could help this ministry? That'd be a great way you could help us. Uh, we want to try to get as much good, ma- scripturally sound material into these people's hands and put it in the Creole language yes. to help them. And uh, they, they their, their first language is Creole, their second language is Spanish, and most of them don't speak any English. So <laughs> yeah. that's kind of where we're stuck at and uh, brother bill speaks french and there's kind of a crossover there between french and creole he's able yeah. to communicate uh to, to uh, for you know, pretty good with some of these guys yeah and i find that when i'm actually talking to them one-on-one they all speak more french than they will admit <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't surprise me um so and then uh and then also so Number one, we want to ordain these guys. Number two, we want to get the institute going. And then number three, I guess we 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 need to look at getting that church uh, going in Punta Cana. Mm-hmm. And so that's basically what we're doing. Uh, what else would you add to that, Brother Bill? Just uh, there are some needs as far as uh, structures and buildings and, and stuff. So we'll we'll uh, I don't want to rush into anything on that, but yeah. uh, but there are some opportunities there, and we just need to take a look at that. Sure, sure. Well, guys, I mean, we'll uh, we've got pictures and stuff. We'll show. And, and we try to document a lot of these trips. I know Brother Bill is going to be putting out some videos on the trip there. Um, there is a tremendous opportunity, uh, but with opportunity comes opportunities for you know for you to give and be involved. Uh, I told our church, I said, you know, the the way to get involved in missions is three things. Number one, we need your prayers. Of course, every you got to pray for missionaries. Paul petitioned the churches for prayer. Pray for us, that kind of stuff. We need your we need your purse. Okay, we need we need funding for this, uh, and and really, uh, the Lord has all the money, but He gives us the opportunity to be the channel in which He gives that money, and that that's always fun. I, I love I love giving to missions. I, I we do a lot of that, and really, one of the reasons I started this channel was to use it as a as a tool to advance the cause of missions, and so that's that's what we're doing here, and then also. Uh, we need your person. So if there's a way that you can get involved, um, you know, as far as this ministry goes and you want to, you want to offer your services to help with this, uh, we'd be glad to hear from you. Uh, just shoot us an email there as well. And uh, that'll be great. So uh, pr- look, folks, pray for us, pray for us. We've got a lot of things happening. If you want to support this 
ministry. There's there's links in the description. There's there's ways to give. You can go to missionaryspencersmith.com. Uh, there's a donate tab there. Uh, we have we have so many things. I mean, I, I'm thinking of things off the top of my head. We we got a there's there's trip you know airfare we got to pay for there's materials we got to pay mm-hmm. for there's uh these guys help with their visa trouble you know we got to do yep. stuff with that uh we've bought motorcycles for these pastors uh churches need you know bibles and things like that um there there's a multitude of different things we need to give and uh give towards so prayerfully consider that as well uh brother word uh i said brother <laughs> brother word brother bill <clears throat> what would be the final word you'd give to the folks out there watching about this great exciting new dominican republic ministry just uh, be praying for those folks. Mm-hmm. Uh, th- there's uh, it's a great need down there, as and anywhere you know, anywhere you go, there you're going to find that need. But uh, uh, they're trying to to do what they can, but they they can use some help. So uh, just pray, see what God would have you do, and just pray for them that the ministry would go forward and that we would be a help and a blessing to them. Amen. Amen. Well, there's there's uh, you know I, I told our church missions is not a spectator sport. Yeah. Everybody's got a place that God has ordained for you to grab a hold of the rope and pull for the glory of God. And uh, so thank you, Brother Bill, for going down there for a month. And uh, <laughs> I hope that you recover someday. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, I'll probably have PTSD for a number uh, of years. But Well, the reason we're saying that is because Brother Bill went, you know, he got an Airbnb. He didn't go sit there on the beach. He went and got an Airbnb in in the middle of high traffic Santa Domingo and took cold showers for a month. And for us Americans, that's hard. That's hard living. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we're saying that funny, of course, but uh, <laughs> we had a good time. So praise the Lord for that. And uh, thank you guys very much for praying for this ministry, supporting this ministry. And uh, we look forward to uh, just seeing what the Lord does. So brethren, pray for us. God's opened up a door and we're just going to walk through it and see what the Lord does. Amen. Thank you very much. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching today's video. We are excited about this new ministry opportunity, but we're going to need your financial support to do so. If you would like to support this ministry, you can go to missionaryspencersmith.com and donate through the PayPal link, or you can send a check to Lighthouse Baptist Church, 170 Becknell Lane, Shepherdsville, Kentucky, 40165. And we certainly appreciate all those who would consider our ministry for financial support. Pray for us. We've got a lot of big things planned, and we would love to get you involved. God bless you, and have a good day.